After finishing the final details of my workbench and the previous episode, it was time to complete this project. I'm Robert and in this final episode I add some overhead lighting for improved visibility when working on future projects. For this I use some LED strips that I bought online. In the package I received some mounting accessories and end caps for the LED strip profiles, a 5 meter cool white LED strip, a 12 volt at 2 amps power adapter, an LED strip driver with an IR remote controller that will allow me to change the intensity of the LEDs, a power plug, a small connector for the LED strip and a spare battery for the remote. Before moving on to the build, let's do a quick test fit to see if everything works as it should. Most of the components are plug and play, the only part where you need to pay attention is when attaching the connector to the LED strip wires. The connector has the positive and negative leads marked, so you just need to insert the red wire in the plus terminal the black one in the minus terminal and tighten them using a screwdriver. Now we can check if the strip works and by the way you should unwind the strip before turning it on, but as I'm only doing this for a couple of seconds it should be fine. The strip seems fine, so I started measuring the position where I would mount the profile. Then as the LED strip came with a double sided tape, I just peeled the backing and stuck it in place. Reaching the end of the bottom shelf meant that I had to cut the strip and in order to extend it to the top shelves as well, some more work was needed. First, I drilled a hole through the shelf where I could pass some wires that I soldered to this end of the LED strip. Then I applied some extra glue here and there to keep everything in place. A quick test and it seems to still work. I realized meanwhile that in order to extend the strip to both of the top shelves, I had to do the same steps on the other side as well, in order to keep all wires as hidden as possible. After some drilling and soldering, the other side was also ready for a piece of strip to be attached. To cover the bottom LED strip and help diffuse the light, I used a plastic profile. It turned out to be a bad decision after analyzing the end result and the amount of work that had to be done with it. A better solution would have been an aluminum profile. Anyway, to be able to mount this profile I had to cut it so that the LED strip would fit inside when I glue it in place. Definitely not a good solution, but I had to make it work. For the top shelves, luckily I used some aluminum profiles, so mounting them was a lot easier. After cutting it to size, sticking the strip in place, closing the profile with some end caps, and fitting the light diffuser, all I had to do was to glue it in place and solder the wires in parallel with the ones from the bottom strip. I used the plastic wire cover to hide all wires, making the end result more pleasing to the eyes. The other side was pretty much a similar process, the only extra feature that I added was a small switch that would allow me to turn off the top LED strips when I wanted to. To hide the power plug, I drilled another hole through the bottom shelf and hid the wire behind the sound absorbing foam.
this completes this episode and this build series i hope you guys enjoyed at least some of the content in them and if so please feel free to subscribe until next time take care